I am Erica from the blog AspenOnMain.com and today I thought I would bring you along with me as I bake and make a few things. I am actually prepping for my friend's bridal shower. My friend and I are hosting for her. We are the matron and maid of honor. Um, so I'm really excited for that. That's happening tomorrow. So today I'm going to be making tiramisu, some banana bread. I'm also going to be making coffee on the stovetop. We're actually going to have iced coffee. So I am making about two gallons of coffee for the party. So I just chose to do it on the stovetop that I'm gonna cool it down overnight and it should be good to go tomorrow. And then I also made some scones this morning. So I thought I would show you that process. And anyway, I hope you enjoy this video. It's a little bit different, but if you like it, if you watch it and you like it, just let me know, give it a thumbs up. Uh, all the recipes that I'll be making, I will put down in the description box. So if you want, you can check those out. Let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to make the tiramisu now. This is my first time making it. I have had it, but I've never made it. So the recipe is not mine, so I will link it down in the description, like I said, so you can check that out. I'm actually going to be tripling that recipe. I have about 15 to 17 people that will be there, so I'll probably be making more than I need to. That is okay, I'd rather have more than less. So I thought I would just chat as I'm making it and show you the process a little bit. So let's get started. Uh, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna whip the um, heavy whipping cream. So I am gonna pour this in my giant measuring doodad. Ooh. That is just about perfect. I don't like to waste anything, so I'm gonna scrape the sides down a little bit. So it might get a little loud. Probably just edit this part out, put some music on. Okay, so the next thing, if I look over here, I'm looking at the recipe. The next thing is vanilla, and I don't normally measure my vanilla, but I'm going to this time. So I need six teaspoons of vanilla. You can never have too much vanilla, in my opinion. I don't know how many I put in there. Close enough. And then I'm going to do the powdered sugar. So basically you're just making sweetened whipped cream first. So I need a cup and a half of that. So I'm really excited for her party tomorrow because it's a coffee themed slash, uh oh, uh, dirty dancing thing. So she likes both of those and my friend and I, we couldn't figure out how to do one or the other so we thought we would just combine it. So it's mostly coffee themed, it's going to be like a coffee shop type vibe and then we have like little sayings from the movie. Nobody puts baby in the corner, things like that. 
Uh, we're gonna be playing music from Dirty Dancing in the background, so it'll be really fun. So tiramisu is the dessert that I chose because, you know, that's kind of a classic coffee dessert. So I am going to carefully whip this up and I'll be right back. Okay, so it's not quite whipped cream yet, so now I'm going to add in mascarpone. So mascarpone, mascarpone, I'm not really sure, but I'm gonna add that in. I've got three eight ounce containers of that. What else can you make with this? I'm not really sure. I'm sure there's lots of desserts. None that I've ever made, but. Oh, I didn't mention, I am actually making an eggless tiramisu. I did not want to deal with cooking the egg yolks and things. That is not something I have a lot of experience in. And so I didn't want to waste any ingredients, first of all. And um, since this isn't something I've made before, I just really didn't want to mess with that. So I found this recipe, it is eggless. So that is nice if you don't eat eggs. And I'm really testing my mixer here because it's almost to the top. And this is not something that most people would know, but I am extremely messy in the kitchen. Like, extremely messy. It, I will show you if you really want to. Well, it's not so bad right now. The powdered sugar, I could have made a bigger mess. But I'm super messy, but I'm also a clean freak at the same time, so I will definitely clean this up. But I'm gonna get this mixed together, and then I will be back and we'll start dipping the lady fingers in the coffee that I made this morning. So let me take this off of my mixer and move that back. I am going to be doing a 9 by 13 and then I'll have to see what my other size is but probably typically you wouldn't be making this much um, so probably doesn't matter too much. The original recipe called for an 8 by 8 so I'm really hoping that triple will be those two sizes are close enough. So I'm gonna get the lady fingers and I will be right back. Okay, so I am going to dip all of the lady fingers into some strong cold coffee that I made this morning and was sitting in the refrigerator. I have taken half of my lady fingers and just put them in here in the packaging. They're really well packaged, so I thought this would be easier. And I'm just going to make a first layer, layer in my casserole dishes and then we will put on the cream mixture that we made and then alternate and we'll see how it goes. So I will lower you down so you can see everything and then yeah, you can watch me do the process. Okay, so the tiramisu is done. I have inhaled more cocoa powder than I wanted to and I'm full <laughs> of it as well. I didn't have a sieve, um, so I used this. This is for my coffee, pour over coffee thing. Um, but it's done, it worked. I think it's going to taste awesome. I'm going to cover them and put them in the so, fridge. Yeah, I think the next thing that we'll do is banana bread. Let's do it. Okay, so the next thing that we are going to do is make banana bread. And this is my recipe. I am going to adapt it a little bit today. I'm going to sub maple syrup for sugar. I have plans for my sugar and I will run out if I use it in this recipe. And I don't know, I like to use maple syrup or other sweeteners when I can. So I will be doing that. So this recipe that I'm doing be a little bit different than the one I have on my blog but I will link it down below it is super good it is super moist and delicious um, the other 
difference is normally I'll mix walnuts in and I thought I had bought another bag but I didn't so I'm just going to sprinkle the walnuts on top instead of incorporating it into the batter and then putting it on top. So right now I have all of my dry ingredients already in my stand mixer so I'm going to mix those up and then I'll add all the wet ingredients. All right, so to this mixture, I'm going to add four eggs. These eggs I got from my mother-in-law. They have chickens, so I'm super grateful for these. Much, much better than store-bought, in my opinion. And then I'm going to add, so my recipe calls for three bananas mashed and I'm doubling this recipe. I only had five. I had a bunch of five. So I'm just going to put five in. That'll still be okay. I'm going to do a cup of oil. This is olive oil. Um, the recipe calls for vegetable oil. Honestly, a lot of the times I don't have vegetable oil. So I usually make my things with but or um, oh brain work with olive oil and I don't really notice the difference. So I did a cup of olive oil and then I'm going to do about a half a cup of maple syrup. I actually meant to do less oil so we'll see. Okay, so I got a call during that last part, but basically I incorporated the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients, and now I'm getting all that batter into my two loaf pans. Then I will be adding the chopped walnuts on top of both of those loaves, and I will get it into the oven to bake. Lastly, I'm going to be making coffee for the bridal shower. This is the first gallon that I made and I'm doing about two cups of ground coffee for that gallon of water. I'm just going to stir it, put it on the stove top. I've got it at about medium high heat and I'm just gonna let it come to a boil and then take it off of the stove top, just stirring it one more time to make sure everything is incorporated. I'm gonna let it cool down a little bit and then I'm going to strain it off and I probably could have done this a little bit easier, but this is equipment that I had and it took a little bit of time, but that's okay. And then I just stored it in these old milk jugs. I cleaned them, of course, and I just put them into the refrigerator to cool down. Okay, so that is it. I have made everything that I needed to make today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making it. If you're interested in me making videos like this in the future, let me know in the comments like this video, subscribe to my channel. Any of those would be super awesome. I really appreciate any support. So anyway, I hope you have a great day and thanks for watching.